Hello, hello everyone, my name is Cesra, and welcome back to Imperator Augustus. And there he is, with uh, the name he used to have. Well, so, we are still on the very same turn, where we ended close to New Carthage. So, let's end this turn, and see if we receive any opposition. Also, let's see if Pompey actually tries to go for my navy. They don't. And the reason why they might have gone for my navy is because they were actually on double time. Also, I really hate this. I I really hate when this happens, but I can't actually do anything besides trying to actually do something about it. And that's this thing right there. So these guys are now apparently highly likely to attack Suguntum, or maybe even this city right there. Which means, once again, I have to pull back to protect. So that's fun. That's incredibly fun. But it is necessary. So who do we want to send back? I don't know. These guys probably. Let's do that. And I guess we can have this army just linger around, but I don't think it will be particularly useful. Well, if the garrison is this weak, well, they might be useful. Well, actually, the garrison isn't really that weak at all, is it? A lot of legionaries and vigilates. And veteran legionaries. We could actually just start to uh, build uh, siege engines. Which I haven't actually been using in this campaign, or pretty much ever. I've almost uh, exclusively auto-resolved, or used my own siege equipment, like uh, onagers that I brought along. So actually, let's stand back here, and wait, wait for a few turns. Something like that. And wait for a few turns, while... I do whatever has to be done with these guys. What they try to attack or most likely bugger off again, as they've done previously. But anyway, as I said, I am trying to get Octavian down here. So I can bolster reinforce a bit in in uh, in Sicily and actually give him some cavalry. Speaking of cavalry, let's upgrade this we can actually recruit Auxiliary Cavalry, if that will be useful to us. Also, we have quite a lot of money. Do you want to go ahead and go on a big upgrading spree? Or is that something I want to do in between parts? Actually, that might be something that I want to do in between parts, because let's be honest, it's not really that exciting, is it? Also, why I, am I not recruiting here? Hmm. I have no idea, so let's go ahead and continue the recruitment. Maybe a few Velites here and there? I don't know. Hmm. Can't really do that either, because I will get there with Octavian on the next turn, and I want to recruit cavalry as quickly as possible. So yeah, I think we are satisfied. And also the army that was lingering around here, or the navy. I don't think it's this one. Um, I highly doubt that. I actually think it might be impossible. So either this guy or it's that guy. I can't remember the size of the navy. So might be that guy or he might still be missing somewhere. Speaking of navies, I can actually use my navy to um, do a bit of stuff here. I can actually go into this province and if I want to actually enable a bit of raiding. Which will give me what will that give me? Piracy penalties to local sea region, which will of course also take into effect on one of my provinces. So that's no fun. Hmm. So that might not be Yeah, that's that's not the best, unfortunately. Hmm. Even more navies down here. Also, can I recruit directly in here? 
Apparently I can, in the middle of the sea. Who knew? Also I can hire mercenaries. Well, actually I can't. But yeah, that should be it for that turn. Also, the defenders of uh, New Carthage might sally out. So, hopefully that doesn't happen, but it is a chance of it happening. And thankfully they didn't the do so. Okay, I read war with uh, my... My men. You, no, you are not. Also, you want crap ton, a crap ton of money for me to not attack you. Which is, well, I guess I'm also buying myself a little bit of protection from these guys. And if it's something I don't want, it's war with the Makromani, so... That might be a good investment. Just taking into account how much money I'm actually using on that, which is not a lot. At all. So, research comp complete. Finally, cohort organization. And... Hmm. Yeah, one of our agents actually gained something. Oh yeah, we had uh, the objective to actually capture New Carthage, didn't we? Well, I guess I screwed the push on that one. Mission issued. Raise an army. Another army? Do we seriously need another army? I don't think so. I really don't think so. Um, we have... We have enough money to raise a new one, I guess, but where do we want to put, put them to? I guess we could try to send them north and to actually invade the enemy tribes. Speaking of, uh, they are actually about to invade again. So that's unfortunate. This province might fall. Make haste, men! So yeah, I guess I guess we could use another. Well, I guess we could use a full strength army up here, but I actually believe one army might suffice here. But if you think think differently, well, I guess I have to oblige. Well, I don't have to. Yeah, I really don't think I really don't think it makes sense right now. I think we have the the the, the numbers of armies we actually need now. So yeah. So where were you going? You are now retreating again. Which means... Bring up these guys. And we are still besieging. So now we have a ladder. Well... Oh, actually we have eight ladders. And I just want to see what this is, because I... A mobile shield without armor. Well, I guess we'll take a look at that. Also, we are now being reinforced, so if these guys try to push out, we will be able to uh, brutally murder them. Let's see, do we actually need a double time to reach? Yes, unfortunately. We actually do need that. So, let's convert them into a land army again. And on the next turn, we will be able to recruit what we need. Which makes it possible for us to have a few validates. Rome needs good fighters. Rome needs good fighters, yes. Also something Rome would, uh, or I would like Rome to have, is uh, archers. I haven't really seen any archers, and I don't like it. Because I do enjoy my archers. Oh yeah, that that agent. He needs he needs his skills. Also, we haven't actually set a new research, which I have talked about before. What I want him or want us to go for. Definitely that one, even more campaign movement range. That would be pretty sweet. But yeah, we are going to go for, and I'm going to find one of those buildings, so so just to make sure. 
There we go. Advanced construction. That one right there. That's a target. And with that, we will actually gain this one and this one, which will further allow us to develop our infrastructure. So that's pretty sweet. Also, the trade is apparently flourishing down this little path right here. Oh yeah, this is a trade post, so that makes sense. So it seems like almost all the trade from Rome is actually going through the city right there. Arminium. Hmm. Yeah, that seems to be the case, because the nearest of than that is Massalia. So yeah, that's definitely what what is happening right now. And I'm perfectly happy with that. So yeah. Let's end the turn. And hopefully at the start of the next turn, we can start a... We can start a fight with New Carthage. And once again, Lepidus didn't actually do anything at this turn. No aggression fight with you guys. Woman, and all speak of a treaty. Well, if that means that you are not going to attack me when Antony attacks me, I'm uh, quite fine with that. Also, do we have trade with you? I think we actually do have a trade with you. Anyway, four Latin cultural influence to all regions and four public order per turn to all promises. So, very, very good. A new faction somewhere up here. Okay, we don't really have to care. So, they haven't actually attacked yet. They haven't crossed the fort. So that gives us a little bit of time to recruit even more legionaries. And I do believe we have enough skirmishers. So that's, that's good. But that makes us now ready to start this battle. So, let's go ahead and assault. And actually see what that uh, shield thingamajig actually does. Yeah, they have a garrison fleet. Ooh, I'm shivering. They they will they would surely whip the whip the odds into their their advantage. Yeah, highly unlikely. So yeah, we heavily outnumber them. Heavily outnumber them. I do believe we have well over double of their men. Start deployment. Okay, so this is a shield. Okay, I see what you're doing. Uh, that's, that's looking quite fine. If you actually manage to keep your heads back so we don't... So like these guys do not lose their lives. That would be a, a waste... A waste of a shield. So pretty much um, all our legionaries should be grabbing onto one of them. And to be quite frank, you, you don't really need to carry them. Also, turn off skirmish mode because that is dumb. At least in this setting. And finally, find places for our men to go. Also, these houses right there, they are quite useless if I don't pair them up with a ladder. So, I'm going to set up my ladders and then set up where I want those guys to follow. So, I don't know if that will be ladderable right there. We're going to try anyway. We're going to have one there, one here. So, meaning that one. Actually, let's place these guys there, so it's easy to easy to see who we have taken and who we have not taken yet. Do like that. Oh, that was you guys. Yeah, they are gonna be completely surrounded. Also, this might not be the best idea, seeing that I am definitely splitting up my forces here. And they do have several very powerful units. They have a lot of legionaries themselves. So they definitely have the opportunity to beat back my units if they clump them together. So 
That's something I definitely have to watch out for. But yeah, what to do with you guys? You are my general. Actually, I think I will send two in from this direction right there. And have one of these guys here to um, fill in where they are needed. So, let's start the battle. I can set up a ladder there, and that actually goes on that side. Good then. Also, I didn't really set up my skirmishers. So I guess I have to do that as well. Reinforcements have arrived. I guess both should be set up on the highest wall. Apparently I can set them up about wherever I actually want them to. So that's good. So yeah, I didn't set up the skirmishers, did I? Oh. Oh. Was that a good idea? I guess I might have use for you. Uh, anyway. After all. And what are you doing? You are running away. Also, these guys were the ones. Yeah, this is the, the ship I was talking about for the... Uh, like naval garrison, and I didn't really know what it was, so it was simple levies, simple, um, simple skirmish levies. So I guess that's mi that mystery is solved. Also, you stopped, so something happened right there. And finally, can you run with that equipment? No, you can't. I guess that makes sense. Probably very heavy. Okay, so we have a lot of reinforcements. Let's push them up. And then separate them a little bit. There we go. And actually, you should walk, because I don't want to get tired that quickly. Oh yeah, I'm with my ammo. Brilliant. So there we go. My ladders are about to reach the wall. In several places. Including this place, which seems very much undefended. Which means I could probably take a unit and push them towards this gate right there. Unless these vigilates have something against it, which I probably have. Legionaries. There we go, up against the legionaries and plebs. Send up reinforcements. Legionaries. First cohort. Hmm, so you're not actually going to use that for protection, are you? Legionaries. Yeah, I, uh, I don't think I really know what these guys are really that useful for, to be honest. Not if they are going to use it, them like that. That seems uh, very silly. That's more like it. That's what I envisioned. Okay, so those vigilates should be uh, easy pickings. Unless actual legionaries are trying to do something about it. I am getting shot in the back though. Not that fun. Look at that. Some shields. Yeah. Actually, I'm not gonna bother about that. Drop the siege equipment and just charge up. If you can actually figure out how to use the ladders. Same here, now they are drifting way too far backwards. So let's go ahead and just use it that way. Also, I guess you are needed here now. So, unfortunately for you, you have to run. So you guys are here. 
on the post, actually. So, I'll send her to the center. And maybe even go for these levies directly. So, are they using the ladders correctly? Yes, they are. Very good. So, at least the path pathfinding is uh, doing its job. So, that's good to see. And you guys... Yeah, you is the general. So, these guys shouldn't be breaking anytime soon. Oh yeah, yeah, they have towers, don't they? Yeah, I don't really need to use these guys for taking out the the Vidalays. I guess I could send up these guys and try to do damage here and there. Something like this, I guess. I am having a lot of trouble right there. So I guess it makes sense. Also, I don't really want to bother trying to capture these towers because I know from experience that that will do a lot of damage to me. Oh, veteran legionaries. I see. Hopefully we we can throw a few pillar to his face and uh, take a lot of them down. Also, we have two units going up against this one. So hopefully that'll make a difference. If it's something I need to be better about, it's uh, actually using these abilities. And, well, attacking Testudo, that doesn't really do anything, so... Not on the walls. <laughs> Look at all the spears f f just falling down here. I definitely love that effect in Rome too. One of the better things, I, I think. Well, actually, let's make it like that. And making up that, so hopefully they are in range to throw the pillar. Because if I click a direct attack order in uh, in my experience, that will result in them uh, not throwing them at all. So or just look, doing like that and not throwing them anyway. So we have captured the gates. There we go. And also, finally, we capture the gates. So these guys can actually come unopposed into the city. But yeah, uh, now that you have captured that, you definitely need to get here and help out these guys. Speaking of, help, speaking of helping out those guys, these guys have definitely done a lot of work to kill them off. Also, could you please throw your spears? Please. You're close to full ammo. Please. I guess it's not happening, so... And there we go. So, sometimes when you click an attack order, they throw their spears, and sometimes they do not throw their spears, so... I have no idea how that works, apparently. I thought I did, but... I was horribly wrong. Oh yeah, I also did capture the towers, so... They are now in my control, and are helping out with this fight right there. So, turn off the pillar, or the spears, because I don't want that much friendly fire. 
Also, you guys are also um, very dangerous for my own men right now. One of our units has used all its ammunition. It might actually be best to um, to turn off all the skirmishers. I think we'll actually do that. So, actually, by that I mean all. So just to be safe, told them to stop and do that. So none of them should be firing right now. Never mind, go for those guys. You guys can try to climb the ladder. Actually, you are probably not going to be needed there. And we are almost completely taking out the veteran legionary. And we are entering the city with our own legionary. And by this point, we are we are guaranteed a victory. Also, this is open. Hmm. Oh yeah, and now you're just sitting here and taking it. I guess I should be moving you guys. And there we go. I guess I captured the square. That's a nice one. Nice and quick one. So, what did the skirmishers do? Uh, well, of the initial skirmishes, very little, but that was actually the skirmishes that were least involved in the fight, so I shouldn't be judging uh, by these numbers alone. But, looking at the numbers I actually have, our general did a fair number of kills. This guy did a lot. Kudos to him. This guy also did very much. Actually, the same number as my general, so that's very, very good. Overall, I think it was a... Very good effort by my by my army. And I killed about double than he killed of me. Or alternatively I lost a friendly fire. So there we go. Once again. I'm not really one who races anything, so we are going gonna go for the simple option of just occupying. And we have a lot of nice facilities here. Yeah, speaking of facilities, now that we have got the um, cohort organization, finally, we can actually go for cohort barracks, which will allow us to recruit veteran legionaries and Praetorians. Also, something I want to know, is this the final building in the chain? It actually isn't. What will this give me? It will give me... There we go. Praetorian Guard, so an upgrade from just an upgrade from normal Praetorians, I guess. Praetorian Cavalry and Armored Legionaries. That sounds that sounds very good. Actually, what do I have to have for that to um, be researchable or buildable? Honor the Brave. But that is only for Caesar and Gold. Oh, this thing. Professional Soldiery. And that is presumably further down this path. Yes, it's the next step. So 19 turns it will take to actually research that. So yeah, that will that will take a while before we before we do. Especially taking into consideration that we actually actually haven't even built this yet. And we don't have any any battle. troops that actually benefits from that yet. So finally, we are here and able to recruit. Sign up, lads, for a good and glorious life. Let's see, that was the maximum number of units for the army. And I think the same thing applies here. There we go. So we have now... On the next one, we have two fully, uh, full, uh, fully uh, supplied armies and a very decent navy, ready to assault Carthage. And 
Antony has still been pushed out of this city right there, so he shouldn't be able to capture Carthage before us, which is very nice indeed, because this should be a very rich province, as far as I am aware. Yeah, the Romans haven't salted it yet, so I guess it's... Uh... No, no, no. No, this is after. After that, so I guess they have salted it. Ooh. But hopefully it has been. It has gotten fertile again. So, over here, now that we have captured New Carthage, we should probably go ahead and capture... Let's see... Oh, this is all that remains? So, the Iberian... Not the Iberian, but the Balearic Islands uh, are ready to be conquested. And, taking a look at what they have here, it should be uh, pretty simple to pull out with this guy alone. So, that's what we will try to do. Unfortunately, that will cause them a lot of unhappiness, but right now they are actually at 100. So, I can actually take that hit, or the initial hit of the, um, the unhappiness. And this army should definitely be enough to take care of any garrison which is stationed there. So, yeah, build up what we can. Go for auxiliary camps, since we have both of them, so we can... Oh, we actually have two of both of them. And that is the next level. So we actually don't need that. We can actually uh, dismantle that and build something else in Saguntum. Well, if you want everything to be centralized, that is. Of course, if we then lose New Carthage immediately, we are shooting ourselves in the foot there. Anyway, I'm now going to do a lot of building stuff, which will be boring and and will happen in between parts. So, in the next part, I, my treasury should hopefully be close to zero, and a few turns might have gone by. Uh, but other than that, in the next part, you should be seeing an invasion of Africa, with Octavian leading the charge. So, that is it for now. I hope you enjoyed this part. I hope you enjoyed us see utterly destroy the, the units at New Carthage. And that was mainly test before Carthage herself. So I hope you enjoyed me then. Like, comment, and subscribe if you uh, if you enjoyed this video. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.